Hi, thanks for joining us. In this video, we're going to look at part of the AEC collection and specifically AutoCAD Civil 3D. First, let's take a look at an Infoworks 360 model. I have some road design, some coverages representing uh, different areas on our site, as well as a drainage network and a detention pond. And I wanna take all of this into Civil 3D. In Civil 3D, I went ahead and created a new drawing and brought in a data shortcut to the existing ground surface. This makes sure I get the coordinate system correct. Now, to open the Infoworks 360 model, I go to the Insert tab, but you'll notice that we have to find the model. Here's a little trick. Notice I just sorted my column by date modified. That'll show me the last Infoworks model I worked with, and it'll make it a lot easier to find the right model. Then I select an area of interest and give Infoworks a few seconds to catch up, and it will display the aerial photo for you. Zoom in on your project site, and then select a bounding box. And remember, you're working with the site now. You're not dealing with all of the entire context. Pick a box, and then you'll return to the open Infoworks 360 model. Now, at the bottom, we can choose to refine the selection set. And I often filter out a couple of things when I'm bringing in data from Infoworks 360. The existing transportation and their proposed ground model, I leave them out because I'm going to design the proposed ground now in Civil 3D. Notice I'm also seeing all of that drainage work that I had done in Infoworks. It's coming right in to my Civil 3D model, ready for analysis, update, part swapping, whatever I need to do. Click OK and then click Open Model and give Civil 3D a second to work. The model will be imported and you'll see all of that data right inside of Civil 3D. Now, I also like to turn off the aerial view so I can get a better look at my site. And here's what we got by using Infoworks 360 to do that preliminary engineering. There's my road design. And because it's a Civil 3D alignment, it also brought along the design profile I created in Infoworks. Notice I simply click and create the profile view, then select the design profile, and I can very simply apply a Civil 3D label set. You know how to do this already. You've been using Civil 3D for years. Import label set, okay. And I've gone from concept or preliminary engineering in Infoworks into Civil 3D for planned production in under minutes. This is a very fast and effective way to get that data into a more usable format. Now, notice I also brought in a real Civil 3D pipe network. So I can use this in storm and sanitary sewer analysis if I want to. The drainage detention pond came across as a coverage. And notice here that I got a Civil 3D corridor where I had created a roundabout, or excuse me, where I had created, yes, a roundabout in Infoworks 360. All this information is ready for me to use right inside of Civil 3D. Now, to go back the other direction, we want to use a couple of different tools. In this case, I've got a copy of the preliminary plat I've created, and I'm using the Export Civil Objects to SDF tool. This creates an SDF file, a spatial data file that I can use in Infoworks. I'm also looking at my paving drawing where I've got a preliminary surface, and in this case, I've got some riprap that I also want to display in Infoworks. Now, the surface, the line work, I'll get that automatically. But because I want this riprap and I want to display it as a coverage in Infoworks, I'm going to select the objects and then use the command map DWG to SDF. This creates, again, an SDF file defining the outline of that riprap. I'm going to overwrite it because I've done this before. And I select manually and notice that it picks the two objects I had highlighted when I started the command. Click OK, and I'm done. Now I have a Civil 3D surface, I have a plat full of lots, and I have some riprap ready for Infoworks. Now I'm back in Infoworks, and I'm going to drag and drop that SDF file I generated of my preliminary plat. When I bring that into the Infoworks model, it's going to show me up under the data sources. Notice the parcels are right there under no feature type. This means that all that SDF contained in it was parcels. 
Now, I'm going to use a style I have created with some grass and then a black outline to display my lots. This displays all of the parcel line work for me from my plat right in InfoWorks. For roads, I simply change the style to be something a little more representative of paving. In this case, a gray stone. You can choose just a color. Uh, it's really up to you. But very simply, at this point, I've already got a very powerful, very typical lot layout exhibit, and I can update it very simply. Now, I want to add in more designs, so I'm going to go ahead and bring in the Civil 3D DWG, that XPave file. When I bring that in, Infoworks is going to ask me, how do you want to use this? And I want to use it as a Civil 3D drawing because I want those objects. Notice the data sources pane though. It's going to show a lot of information that I don't really want as part of my InfoWorks model. So instead of close and refresh, click OK. Now I can individually configure the pieces I need. Double click on the finished grades road terrain. And in this case, because it's a 10 surface and it's the finished grade roads, go to that converter tab, turn off the convert to grid and click close and refresh. Now you'll see that design surface that we picked up in Civil 3D from that corridor model, back of curb, slope, cross crown, all those things that we do in Civil Design. Now in coverages, I also want to use the corridor and I simply double click and then close and refresh. And we pick up all of the materials that were assigned as part of our corridor set styles. So paving, terrain, those sorts of things. Notice though that some of the slopes covered up my lot lines. So all you have to do is pick in that area, that coverage will be highlighted and you can manually set the rule style to be nothing. This makes it a transparent piece and that way all of your lot lines shine through. The last piece is that hatching. Again, it's an SDF we're gonna bring in as an Infrax 360 coverage and I'm going to assign a material using the land cover area and then I think Riverstone in this case or Talus. Take your pick. Remember, you can change the style later if you need to. Close and refresh and now I've got a very powerful exhibit right in Infrax showing my lot layout, my design surface, my roads and parcels, as well as that riprap area. And I can keep adding to it. But this is a quick way to really show off your Civil 3D design in InfoWorks 360. Thanks for watching this video. To learn more, join the InfoWorks 360 community by visiting the website on your screen. There you'll see forums, the idea station for sharing your ideas, and infra tips where you can learn more ways to make InfoWorks 360 a more powerful part of your infrastructure workflow. Thanks again.